What's going on YouTube? GSNori here. You probably remember the Falza file manager and you probably used this a lot on your jailbreaks before because this is the de facto file manager on jailbroken devices. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to get this without being jailbroken and how to use this. It's limited because you're not jailbroken, but you can still get it and you can still find some uses for it. I'm running this, as you can see, on iOS 26 and I built a tool that allows you to do that as well with ease. Now, the tool files 26 maker is now available and you can get it on my website it's files 26 maker over here i have a full article on how to use it and what it does in the background but essentially what this tool does is to take the real deb file the tweak for files and convert that to an ipa format that you can sideload with your favorite tool so let me show you how to get jailed files on ios 26 ios 18 and so on without a jailbreak so first of all go ahead in the description and find the article about files 26 maker maker being released. It's going to be down below as well as in the pinned comment. And right here in the article, it's definitely a good idea to give it a read so that you can understand how it works. But then you're going to have the download button over here and some more information about the compatibility and so on and the limitations. And then it will take you here to the download page where you have the macOS ARM version, the Intel x86-64 version or the universal binary. If you don't know which one you need, probably the universal one is going to work best for you. You click on it and of course you can download it and this will give you a binary like this. Now run the following command, cd desktop to change directory to the desktop and then of course give permissions to that file. So chmode plus x, assuming you have saved the file on your desktop, drag and drop it over here and press enter so that it gives running permissions to that file. And now you just have to take it and drop it over here and press enter. It will automatically get the files a tweak tab and it will create the IPA file for you so that you can side load it. As you can see, this is the IPA file now and we can just go ahead and send this into for example side load lane which i'm going to do right now and we press start in here and have it installed on our device so as you can see it's doing it in there and on my device it will actually install falza which i already had installed previously so this is how you get it now the limitations i discussed about them in the article since this is not using any sort of exploit it's kind of like jailed falza if you want to so you can open it and many paths will not be accessible because they are sandboxed and we don't use a jailbreak or exploit for this but some of them will be available and you will be able to open for example plist files that are available you will be able to browse parts of the file system and this is pretty interesting and it's more for novelty factor and of course have files that play around with the system rather than anything very useful because it's very limited by the sandbox and of course by the fact that you don't have a proper jailbreak however that's how you get files on ios 26 and ios 18 17 without being jailbroken now if you don't want to use my tool if you want to do this yourself you can actually use the terminal yourself in order to do that first of all you're going to have to find the deb file for files which is this one over here and you can run the AR dash X command and drag and drop this file, the dev file, and it will extract that file. And inside of it, you will get three files, control.tar.jz, data.tar.jz, or Debian binary. What you're interested in is the data.tar.jz, double click to extract it. And inside you will have data, and here you're going to have applications, and here is the files application. Now you can create a brand new folder, call it payload, drag and drop this one in here, and compress this one over here, then give this one the IPA extension extension instead of zip and this will create a proper IPA and you can go ahead and install that one and it will work that's in case you don't want to use my program but my program works pretty fast so definitely check it out that's essentially it thank you for watching I am GS now you can find my program for free down below till the next time also check out AKSEC they provide a course on how to do iOS security research if you want to learn how to make your own jailbreaks or if you want to learn how to reverse engineer stuff on iOS how to protect your applications and so on they have over 92 videos so 14 hours of video about all this like arm 64 architecture the ios kernel the sandbox jailbreaking code signing and so on so if you want to learn how to make your own tools and jailbreaks this is definitely a great place to start so yep, thank you for watching i am gsnow till the next time subscribe to stay updated and peace out